In 2019, at the Vox Days conference in Geneva, I finally met in person Martin Thompson, a programmer that influenced me the most when it comes to programming, how I write code and design software. He made me, let's say, really passionate about distributed systems, databases, and high-performance systems in general. Martin is a famous programmer, especially in the Java community, and he is probably one of the leading experts when it comes to writing high-performance, low-latency systems. He's building like world's highest performance trading platforms and stuff like that. What Martin did is he made me mechanically sympathetic, or at least he made me try to be like that. So in his blog, Why Mechanical Sympathy, I'll paste all of the links in the, in the video description, Martin quotes something a bit worrying, let's say, from, from Henry Petrosky. The most amazing achievement of the computer software industry is its continuing cancellation of the steady and staggering gains made by the computer hardware industry. What Henry is saying is like hardware folks are doing amazing stuff, imp improving the performance of the hardware to really astonishing levels. But we as software developers are writing software in a way that like more or less negates all of those gains, right? And What Martin in the same blog then says is, as a software developer, I want to try and produce software, software which does justice to the wonderful of achievements of our hardware friends. This is like really nicely said. Uh, mechanical sympathy is the term that Ma Martin introduced uh, to software development, but it comes actually from the great racing driver, Jackie Stewart, who was like three times world Formula One champion. And he actually believed that the best drivers had enough understanding of how a machine worked so they could work in harmony with it. Martin Thompson is saying that like these great race car, race, uh, car drivers, for us developers to be, to be better and more importantly to write better, more performant and more efficient software, we need to have mechanical sympathy. Essentially, we need to know or at least be aware of how a CPU work how memory and I.O. subsystem work. We need to know some basics of, of how operating system works because every interaction with the hardware goes through the kernel and we should know some basics on how it does it. And on top of that, I would say like, we need to know basics of how an interpreter or, or a compiler work. Compilers do amazing stuff to make, to make our code uh, run fast on the CPU. Let's help it and not make it struggle and like negate all of those capabilities. And probably it is even more important for interpreted uh, languages, where the interpreter is like constantly stuck in running our poorly written code. Generally, have a better understanding of your stack. Don't just paste some code and try to call it a day. If you are a front-end developer, uh, learn about JavaScript runtime. Learn how a browser is implemented. Learn about how CSS is, in, is interpreted by the browser. For backend developers, like learn about HTT protocol, learn a bit about TCP, TCP protocol that's supported, or now UDP protocol for HTTP 3, I believe. Learn more about how, how databases work. You can check out my video about what every developer should know about databases. Like learn SQL, even if, even if you only use object uh, relational mappers. It is amazing how bad SQL can be generated by ORMs. Like Martin also mentioned in one of his comments that it is such a shame that folks in our industry show so little passion for the computer science and what has happened a bit further down the stack. Let's not fall into this category. And I'm not trying to project like I know all of these things. I know some of it, probably the majority I don't know, but what I'm trying to do is learn about, about it as much as possible and appreciate it. And you don't need to be hardware or compiler engineer to learn the basics of, it, of all of it. And why I say in the title of the video, now more than ever? Well, now with AI and all of, all of the LLMs generating code, we are in a situation that there was never more code produced with less understanding of what that code actually does and how it does it. And now we end up in a, a vicious cycle where we push all of that poor code Now LLMs learn more from that poor code and then generate for us even worse code. <laughs> and I'm not saying it is wrong for the LLMs to generate your code. Uh, 
it can be valuable, it can speed things up for sure, but like with, with anything else, use it mindfully, uh, know exactly what it generated and how will it work. To sum this up, we have to fight the urge to call something done as soon as possible, just because generally our industry allows us to get away with it. We need to be more professional about how we write our software, even if we don't have to. Our users will be happier. Let's care a bit more and be more mechanically sympathetic, and that will make us, hopefully, better and great programmers. See ya.